so there are two games I am majorly hyped for this month. The first one is Project Triangle Strategy, and if you're watching this on the day of launch, it released yesterday. Um, oh my god, so I have been the first one to always say I am not a strategy RPG guy. Don't enjoy them, not a fan. Um, they gave you that demo that lets you get to chapter 3, and I have fully completed it. I have gotten all the characters possible um, up to the highest level, and I am just so pumped for that game. Downside is, is me being me, I had to get the collector's edition, which is European only, so I gotta wait for Amazon UK to ship that bad boy over. So, that brings me to the second game that I'm very pumped for, and that is the new Kirby game. Uh, I am psyched for this. I am a huge Kirby fan, um, and I really want to see what this 3D offering is. Now, if you're watching this video, then you already probably know that there is a demo for it. I have not played it. As of recording this right now, I have not played it. I'm going to play it here with you guys and kind of give you my impressions like as they come because I, you know, I don't know what to expect. Are we going to get like a Mario Odyssey or are we going to get something more, I don't know, maybe like a, like, like a Mario, um, like the, the other 3D Marios, like, you know, the Mario, uh, not World, uh, you know, like a Bomberman hero, you know what I mean? Where it's not like you get control over the camera and all that. I don't know what to expect. I've heard several different things. I'm just kind of looking forward to seeing what this is going to play like. Um, personally, very pumped. The last Kirby game that I fully completed myself was Planet Robot on the 3DS. That game was very fun. But, you know, Kirby's always been stuck in this 2D, or some games have the 2.5D kind of, kind of uh, vibe going on, so... I'm interested to see what's going on here. I know there's all kind of new abilities. Uh, I know there's like a level up system, which I don't think is going to be in this demo. Also, there's like a town building thing, which I also don't think is gonna be in this demo. But we're gonna see what this thing has. I am very psyched to share my experience with you. So without further ado, let's jump in. So first impression, I will say right off the bat, I think it's cool that they just, uh, Pop you right into the, uh, just right into the the game. Like you just you wake up and you're and you're already going. You're already collecting coins, I guess. That's how you jump. That's how you fly. Suck around town. You don't have much control over the camera. I will say that. Um. It's kind of you know it's not like a free camera, like uh you know like Mario Odyssey. Oh, they're teaching you how to jump. Um, so you kind of pan, so it's kind of fixed. Uh, not bad. Just something different. Okay, cool. I guess they're showing you all the stuff. What's the level of freedom I have? Right, I can't go over there. I don't know what these coins are doing. I get the feeling that's probably more for that town building mechanic that they talked about before. But, uh, we will treasure on. Plot-wise, you know, they don't tell you much, but, I mean, is Kirby known for its plot? It's usually, like... Hey, friggin' let's go to this town and, you know, fight a tree. I will say that one thing that's a little weird, when you move further away, like, the frame rate kind of gets strange. Like, look at that dude back there. A little bit choppy, and it smooths out. Um, not, like, you know, I'm not expecting, like, gold with a Kirby game, but it is a little strange. Not too bad, though. So you can't fly, all right, you can't fly like unlimited. You have to have some floor below you to get higher, which I guess makes sense. Uh, you know, because Kirby, if you're free roam 3D world, you, you, I mean, it'd be very, uh... So the cutscenes are definitely a noticeable step up, and I, I only point that out because it reminds me of like when I was younger in like the PS2 era. It seemed like there's a huge difference between the cutscenes and the gameplay. I'm not saying it's like a drastic difference between the cutscenes and the gameplay, but like I'm getting that vibe because like these cutscenes are obviously like way crisper looking than the gameplay is. Kind of, you know, once again, not really knocking this game's, you know, graphics or anything, but I, I do find that kind of, in a way, nostalgic. <laughs> and now I'm a car, so. All right. This is so. This is a time when I'd like to have a little bit more control over the camera. 
See, if you can see here, this is all the control I get, kind of back and forth. Um, I wish I had a little bit more control in that regard. Okay, <laughs> how angry is the angry Kirby guys? Uh, watch out for my Ford Fiesta. I'm real confused. I need to look up Kirby lore. Um, I always thought they were bad guys, the little waddle guys. But, I mean, I don't know. Maybe I, I honestly just play the games. Like, I don't, you know. Like, they look they look cute. Like, like you should be their friends. But they are dicks. This little guy. I don't know. He's sad because he don't want to be caught. I'm going to save that thing. I'm going to save that mouse. Yeah, done. What's up? Done. Give me some more. What are you doing? Done. See, you guys forget that there is there is no quarter with Kirby. He just brings the pain. Yeah, save my little friend. His ears a little messed up, but yeah, we good. Classic. That's Elfin Great. It's that kind of frame rate thing I'm talking about. Look at that guy in the back. Look at that guy. More man on the screen. Look in the distance. That is obviously like a sword knight, but he does not exist right now. Alright, look at that. That's weird. And now you're gone. And now you're back. Oh, it kind of homes on a little bit. That's interesting. There are missions. Okay. Clear the stage. Hold on a second. How do I get over there? I guess you just gotta look at it. Clear the stage. Save the hidden waddle dees. Looks like there's three. Make five tulips bloom and two secrets. So, that's cool. So, when it comes to games like this, for me personally, and, and uh, uh, like Mario Odyssey, just stuff like that, I love a little bit of a, a little bit of a, you know, stuff to do. So I am on board for this. We need to find some flowers, folks. Get out of here, frame rate fox. I wish... I wish that wasn't so noticeable. Like, it's really... Like, he doesn't have to be that far for the frame rate for him to just drop. I mean, I know these games don't profess to be hard in any kind of way, but look at his life bar just getting... Spilt. Oh, look at you. You just got juked, son! Oh, you hit me. Oh, whatever. You're dead. Give me the diamond. He's gonna burst in all kinds of coins. Oh, he's got a... Oh, he has a sword! Once again, this would be a spot where I'd kind of like a little bit more control over the camera. Like a free camera would be... would be cool. Um, this has now gone from a minor inconvenience to a legitimate complaint. I think having a free camera is... is borderline, uh... needed. As this is how you open the gotcha pond. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Boom. 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 Oh. Like a like a boss. These are gotcha things, okay. A little Kirby. And they kinda give you a little bit of pot. I got three of them. A little mushroom guy. And the water tank. Cool. You know, so in a way, because the way the levels are set up, this might not be fair to say, but, you know, I said earlier that Kirby games are all 2D or 2.5D, meaning they're kind of like, you know, on a path. This is 3D, but because it's not really fully open world, it almost has like a 2.5D feel. Oh, look at old... Hey. <laughs> are you mad? I took your banana, oh my god. <laughs> I love this like new Kirby look where he gets like the eyes from Patrick from Spongebob. <laughs> Damn. It's Guillotine Gorilla. Gonna be a little, gonna be quicker than that. He's kinda, all right, you gotta know, you just freeze him. He gets mad, you just keep freezing. Away from his... Okay. Am I gonna die to the grill? Am I gonna lose a life? To oh, uh, he's just drunk. <laughs> he's drunk. He's drunky Kong. <laughs> oh yeah. 
There we go. I guess. Alright. You know? I don't know. That was a very boring fight. With the ice power. Maybe that would have been cooler with the swords. Or anything else. But hey, there we go. Look at that! You've earned a present code. Code. Cleared. <laughs> clear demo. There you go. As a reward for going all out, you get a new one. New adventure. Hey, tip for y'all. Look at that. Just because I got everything. So that's for you. You can use these present codes in the release version, which I will be getting. You know, on the whole, I'm a fan. Obviously, it's not like the, you know, boundary pushing graphical powerhouse uh but it's exactly what i wanted this is gonna be fun it's gonna be a very fun game uh i'm going to enjoy completing it and also i like games like this where you know sometimes you just want a game that's just relaxing you know i get the feeling that when i play uh when i do get my copy of um uh uh triangle strategy in um you know I want to take a break and, uh, and play a little bit of some Kirby Town here, because this was a very fun experience. Um, yeah, so, on the whole, looking forward to it. Okay, I thought I was going to end the video there, but when you beat the demo, it lets you use evolved copy abilities, so I'm going to check So here's the cutter. You get these rings. So like I said, they said that the, the abilities evolve, but look how, like, brutal this is. Man, okay. So that's interesting. And I don't know if they evolve more than once or what, but just for Cutter, that's kind of cool. Uh, like, way cool. Like, <laughs> yeah, the game wasn't easy enough. I'm gonna see if I can go to a different level. So I wanted to come here real quick because it has a whole bunch of abilities right in the beginning. But I gotta get these bananas. Just to see what some of these evolved abilities look like. Evolved ice, you get a little hat. Oh, look at that! You make little, little walrus men. Oh, whoa! Hold on, what? Okay. Evolved bomb. Oh, they like daisy chain together? Whoa, okay. An evolved sword? Hey! I'm gonna fight that gorilla with this freaking thing. I don't know if the sword was, like, generally supposed to be better, but, uh... Give me that sword back. This is, uh, this is record time. This is a. Uh, this is good. Get back here, guillotine. <laughs> All right. So the copy ability is leveling up. Super sick. <laughs> Super duper sick. Uh, anyway, whew, that's gonna do it for this demo. The show this time. And that is the 3D version of Kirby. Uh, you know. I don't know what I really fully expected. I didn't know if they were gonna go full Mario Odyssey or not. Um, and I'm not disappointed that they didn't. Uh, but you know, it's it's definitely a stepping stone. I think this game is gonna be great. I'm still super pumped for it. Um, I think they're taking steps to make this different. They're changing the formula. And uh, you know, I can't wait to see what the full game is gonna hold. Uh, so at the end of the month when it comes out, I, yeah, I may do like a, like a follow touch up review maybe. Um, kind of showing, sharing some of the stuff that the main game has that this demo didn't. But, uh, you know, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. If you guys played the demo, how do you feel about it? Are you, how do you feel about Kirby going, like, you know, not 2D or not 2.5D for the first time? I'm very interested. Uh, I'm very psyched, obviously. Uh, but hey, uh, you know, like I said, I want to know what you guys think. Hey, so that's going to do it for us today, guys. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. If you haven't, please do. That would be very cool. Uh, and as always, my friends, take it easy.